I'm John Erickson in Brown County, and a Brown County Highway Department official says when a road buckles, it can turn that paved surface into something more like a gravel road, and that can be particularly dangerous for motorcycles. If one of your passions and your job revolve around the same thing, you're like Corey Vestain. I ride quite a bit, probably put on at least like 5,000 miles this year. And he's a salesman at Team Motorsports near De Pere. But summer freedom on two wheels can come with something extra to watch out for. Pavement buckling in the heat. Michael Pacenti is operations manager at the Brown County Highway Department. A lot of your pavement buckles end up just, they're blowing out and it's like gravel out there, a lot of loose concrete. So for cars and trucks, it'll be like hitting a bump. For motorcycles, it could be like driving on loose gravel. If there's gravel on the ground anywhere, um, you're going to lose traction. There was a pavement buckle Monday afternoon on I-41 South in the De Pere area. And the state DOT says high heat caused a joint to expand and fail, which led to the planned closure of the bridge on I-41 South over Lake Butamore early Tuesday. As far as buckling pavement, Pacenti says it's not just the heat that can play a role. Generally, pavement buckling happens when you have uh, a wet year, wet summer like we have had, and then you start to get temperatures up into the upper 80s and, and into the 90s, and it starts to warm up that moisture, and then it pops the concrete. On a motorcycle, watching the road is nothing new. 90% of riding is just paying attention to what you're doing, you know. And Vistain says watching out for buckled pavement is part of that. It's something you gotta consider, because the road that you're traveling on, the conditions are, that's very important. When the Brown County Highway Department gets a call about a buckled road, they will go out and make a temporary fix for the road before returning and putting in that long-term repair. In Brown County, John Erickson, NBC26.